Chased by the police before, but. Just leave it, man. I want to, I want to show you something. What's your name? Sean Eno. We're heading to a street spot right now. There's a rail I've been looking at for a couple of months now that we're hopefully going to hit it tonight. Feeling a bit anxious right now, feeling a bit nervous. I have that feel, you know that feeling you get when it's like you're nervous about something, like you're going to do a speech in front of your class at school or you're going to perform in the in the school band or something. I feel like that now. Like I know I'll be fine, but just I need to chill out. I'm actually going to get a photo shot tonight by Eric. His Instagram is one more try photography. He does a lot of skate photography, so he's going to uh, shoot me, hopefully get a front smith on this rail. So fingers crossed. I got a bit of plywood in that car. Or plywood, either one. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a rail here, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's it's kind of square, but a bit rounded, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is where you're landing. So if I come out, I feel like if I try to front smith it, it'll kick out to like here, maybe. It'd be easy rolling to the bush. Fine, the land's the land, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is the rail here. I just don't know if anyone's still inside. Ah, uh, there's some dude in the back there. It's kind of a good thing they got road work going on there. Because... Yeah, it keeps people from coming. Duct tape. Duct tape. I don't know why we call it duct tape. It's for ducting. This is the, the sign I found at an abando, so I'm going to use it for the run up to cover the crack, and so I'll be able to pop off it, and the noise will kind of help me in my head. So we've got to tape this sign down to the first crack here. Come up. chased by the police before but I used to write a fair bit of graffiti in my teens and we used to cop chases every now and then and I have that same feeling of like anxious like fight or flight right now just trying to fight through the emotions to get this front smith I know I can do it I just got to figure it out but yeah I thought I'd share with you what I'm going through in case um you want to hit street rails or you hit street rails and you can relate but yeah that's what I'm going through right now I've got that pre-run from the cop feeling 
right now. So I just want to get it so I can go home and go to sleep. But yeah, I gotta keep pushing. <laughs> nice. I'm going to Disneyland. It changes up a little bit, but Let's see. I kind of wanted to see everything. Yeah. We're just leaving, man. We're taking some photos. Skateboarding. Just down the stairs. We're packing up the. No. Uh, I want to show you something. You have a serious, you have a YouTube? I want to show oh, you my nephew. Okay. okay. Oh, cool. Who was a freestyler. He was third oh, in the world back when. What's but, his uh, name? Sean Burke. Yeah. Tell me how, how good he is or how bad he is, which, whichever one. Yeah, this is that you can... Oh, Jesus. Triple Hill. <laughs> oh, my God. On that hang flat 10. Board yeah, too. hang 10. Oh, that's cool. Oh, my God. What's your name? Sean Enux on YouTube. How do you spell Enux? E N U K S. E N. -U How great is Temecula? <laughs> that car, he was um, he was like, at first he was like, get your phone out to like record in case he was gonna give me a ticket or something. And then he's showing me videos of his nephew skating on YouTube. I seen I seen that cop before though, so yeah, wow. This could this night couldn't have gone any perfect. Uh, perfect, perfect isn't a word. More, <laughs> more perfect, I mean. <laughs> the illest. And shouts out to you, bro. Thank you for I appreciate uh, it, dude. coming out again. And I'm glad to come out and do it. Yeah, because we've really been talking fun. about this route for like a month. Yeah. And I was always like, oh, yeah, we'll get it one of these nights. And then the other day when I hit that abandoned mall, I found that sign. I was like, it's perfect. Yeah, we got to pick it up. I'm back at home right now. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel so much better now that that's done. I feel like all the kind of stress and anxiety and nervousness are like subsided now and I'm the endorphins have kicked in and I'm just chilling like I said I was telling Eric like this whole week like once I told him like yo Thursday night let's hit that rail this whole week that's just gone by I'd be falling asleep at night and thinking about it and, and I'd start to feel anxious and then I'd be waking up in the morning and then I'm thinking about that rail and I'd start to go I'd start to kind of get like a nervous kind of feeling in my stomach, kind of like butterflies, but like worrying butterflies. I'm super happy that it all went pretty smoothly. Even with the cop, like he was like, at first I thought he was going to give me a ticket or something because he asked like, who's the skater? And then he was like, pull up your YouTube so um, I can show you this. And I was like, oh, he's going to give me a ticket. Like I'm going to be able to film this. It's going to be content. Then he pulls up a video of his nephew skating. Um, his nephew was a freestyle skater back in the day. So I'm super happy that cop was cool with us um, skating that rail and getting photos and stuff. He's pretty much like, oh, good luck, guys. But we'd already gotten the photo by then. So we were pretty much packing up and uh, ready to get out of there. But yeah, I'm super in my emotions right now just because of all that just happened. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to relate. Maybe some of you guys have hit street spots and you know what feelings I'm going through right now. But skateboarding is super emotional. I don't know if that makes any sense but that's how i feel like skateboarding is super emotional once again shouts out to eric one more try photography for coming out and making it happen being able to capture that moment of me front smithing that rail and yeah if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know drop me a comment below um if you have any cool street spot stories where you've had to like get the trick and then get out of there because security were coming or police were coming let me know in the comment sections below really keen to hear what other people's experiences are like skating street. I can't even talk right now. I'm on that much of a high, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on guys. Thank you again for watching the video. If you've made it this far, cheers. And uh, yeah, I'll catch all you guys in the next one.